My favorite module is language arts, learning about a sprain box, when we first started pre-algebra, theater, math, community, probably the geographics or the geo-earth thing. <laughs> We got to learn and write about the American Revolution, and I thought that that was really cool to learn how America came to be. Me and my friend Brayson got to work with editing. I got to come up with a whole entire pantomime. It's fun to learn, and I get to do a lot of fun experiments. We started by making blankets, and so we were able to kind of use that, the pre-algebra that we had learned from just worksheets and translate it into something that we would do in our everyday lives. It's project-based learning, so there isn't really busy work. Because so many of our projects are hands-on and interactive, kids are able to jump in on a project wherever they happen to be at. It is just a place that learning really does genuinely come to life and things really are fun. I think that learning should always be fun. I think we should, even as teachers, be lifelong learners. They're not always gonna be kind of in your personal space if you need help then they'll have everything they can to help you. We know that not everybody learns the same way and we are able to accept that in a way that we can find what will make your student successful instead of hoping that they can be successful within a system that is already established and everybody else is working through. It's been nice because they don't have um, any anxiety when they come home to come to school the next day. School helps us learn new stuff by making it more engaging and hands-on than just going through textbooks. It's more of a expeditionary school. You get lectured for maybe two minutes and then you get to do a project and have fun. It's project-based learning that's student-led and peer-graded and because these students are designing their own projects and they're leading them themselves. They're able to take these standards of education, the, the math and the English and other studies and layer them into the projects. Students are excited when they're learning, they're hands-on, and it really um, kind of spurs them and sparks their love for learning and they actually want to learn more than what is expected of them in the classroom. They want to take it that one step further. They get to look outside and say, I want to know more about that bring that inside and put it into practice. I got to like study it, I got to draw it, I got to talk about it, and I learned a lot of things about it. If we teach just to one way, we're only going to get, we're only going to reach a certain number of kids. But if you teach to a more broader perspective and teach in different mythologies and different paradigms with different actually going outside, actually doing projects, actually doing teamwork um, events, now you're engaging kids who normally aren't engaged in the learning process, and so you see a lot more success. Something that makes HCC special is that, unlike other schools, not only do we show crew within our school, we show crew within our community. Crew at our school stands for um, citizenship, resilience, exploration, and workmanship. And we work on those four things all year long. We laugh together, we grow empathy as we help each other through hard times, and we learn how to resolve conflict during our crew time. We have really worked hard on building our habits of character. Crew is really all about how can we be part of a community? How do we contribute to our community? How do we lean on our community when we need support. Just the people in here and the kids are generally like really nice. Even like the kids that you don't know, they'd like hold the door for you or do something really nice. And I feel that it's really nice to have like peers that actually understand you and will like stand up for you. We are crew, not passengers. What that means is that everybody here works together by promoting our strengths and then also being able to identify with our weaknesses. We're all on the same page to make this an environment not only that the kids enjoy coming to that, but we enjoy coming to the staff members. We've had breakthroughs in learning and people who have come to us sobbing that their student has not had as great an experience in education anywhere but here. The difference that I have seen in my daughter while attending HCC has been pure delight and fun 
for learning. You know, I'm a teacher and I'm also a parent at, at Hayden Canyon Charter and my two boys um, are thriving here and they're having a great time. They're both very different learners. Um, one was not doing as well in his other school, but he's doing wonderfully well now. And um, the other one is just thriving as well. So I'm happy as a teacher and as a parent. I am in the fortunate position where I get to stand by the front doors every day and watch students as they come in. Um, we have music playing and students are so pumped and so enthusiastic to come here. Um, I get to do observations in the classroom all the time um, and I just get to see their excitement and their engagement in it. You can just see the light bulb. You can see the engagement that they're doing in the investigations. Um, and our staff is so incredibly devoted to what they're doing. They believe truly in the model that we're doing. It's lovely to be able to have your kids want to go to school. The seventh grader actually enjoys getting up and going to school in the morning. He doesn't fight us about doing schoolwork. And then the second grader is just, he's so smart. And this learning model where the students can kind of come in and help teach their classmates has been amazing. The sixth graders are coming down and helping us map out the constellations. And um, our seventh grade buddies come down weekly and help us with our reading fluency. And we have eighth grade buddies that help us finish up big projects. When writing the vision and mission, we really considered strongly what the outcome ultimately would be for the students of Hayden Canyon Charter School. And really to have breakthroughs in their learning, to understand the application of what they were learning in the classroom in real world environments, being able to take that learning outside and apply it in an investigative, curious way was really the ultimate method of of designing that vision and mission and so what we came up with was really if we can take those things and apply them to good citizenship we would call that a success.